Los Angeles is home to some of the most exclusive and private clubs in the entire world. Home to some of the most prestigious, elite, and famous people out there. These clubs offer a unique blend of luxury, privacy, and exclusivity that makes them highly sought after. Today I'm going to be talking about the most private clubs and we're not talking about nightclubs. So the first club on this list is the Jonathan Club. So the Jonathan Club was established in 1895 and has two locations in Los Angeles, one being downtown and one being in Santa Monica right on the beach. And the Johnny Club is one of the oldest private country clubs throughout all of LA. It offers exclusive access to dining rooms, fitness facilities, and they have several events throughout the year, such as the Luau that takes place on the Jonathan Beach Club in Santa Monica toward the end of every summer. Also every winter, they have Christmassy events throughout the entire month of December, where last year they had a large snow slide that you could take a sled down. Clubs like the Jonathan Club are known for their exceptional service, where all the workers there will know their members by name, what kind of food and drink they like. It's definitely on much more of a personable level when you're dealing with the service at some of these clubs. So the Jonathan Club has two different types of memberships. You have the club and you have the beach. The club is the downtown location where you just get access to that one. The beach is the club in Santa Monica. You can just get access to that one or the all exclusive where you can go to any of them. The initiation is just about $15,000 per individual, but there are family plans they offer and plans for under 25, under 35 that change pretty often. There are also monthly dues that range between $400 and $500, and then it's just easy to stack up a tab when you have guests, when you're eating there a lot at their restaurants, when you're getting drinks, when you're attending events there. But it's just great to sit at the bar on the second level, take in the views, maybe have a nice cocktail, have some oysters, and just soak in the LA sunset in Santa Monica. The downtown one is definitely much older, and that one is cool more so for their history and for their private events that go on. But moving on to the second club on this list, the Los Angeles Country Club. The LA Country Club was founded in 1897, and it's that massive golf course that you might see right next to Beverly Hills and the Wilshire Corridor. This club features two 18-hole golf courses. You have the North Course and the South Course. The North Course, which is actually hosting the Los Angeles, the North Course, the North Course is actually hosting the U.S. Open of golf this year in the PGA. So you're gonna see Tiger Woods playing there this year. Hopefully, fingers crossed for that one. Although the LA Country Club is mainly known for their golf and their nice restaurants, the men's locker room, they do also have tennis courts, swimming pools, and it's just a nice hangout spot. One interesting fact about the LA Country Club is they do not want any A-list celebrities to be members there. They can be guests of current members there, but they would like to keep it more of a low-key club that doesn't draw too much attention or eyeballs, which is why there is no video online at all of the LA Country Club's golf courses anywhere. You can look it up right now. There's nothing about the LA Country Club golf courses, no videos of any of the holes online. So it's going to be interesting to see the U.S. Open this year, being at the LA Country Club and all the footage they're going to have of every single hole, because not going to be such a kept secret anymore. Also, the LA Country Club is the second most expensive piece of property throughout the entire United States. Can you guess what number one is? I'll give you three seconds. Three, two, one. It is Central Park in New York City. It's a little bit bigger than the LA Country Club. LA Country Club is valued around 30 billion, whereas Central Park's about 40 billion-ish. But if you do own one of the condos on the Wilshire Corridor, Century City, or if you live in Live 10,000, one of the nicest apartment buildings in LA, you do get amazing views of the LA Country Club. Also, the Waldorf Astoria Rooftop Restaurant. If you guys have been there, that has maybe the best view of the LA Country Club. And there's just nothing like it. Seeing all that greenery, seeing all that grass in LA, right next to the hills, right next to Beverly Hills, in between the flats, I mean, doesn't get much nicer than that. I think that pays for the membership in itself, just the views. But speaking of the membership itself, the initiation fee is rumored to be in the six-figure range. They don't have the exact numbers online, but the monthly dues range around $2,000, and then that's gonna stack up on top of whatever you're eating, whatever you're drinking, whatever you're doing there. Even though you are members at these clubs, not everything is gonna be free. You're not gonna be able to golf for free. You're not gonna be able to eat for free, you still gotta pay for everything on top, so you gotta be willing to spend a pretty penny for being a member at this club, and bringing guests as well, because I'm sure your guests aren't gonna be expecting to pay for $50, $100 meals all the time, or $100 round of golf too. Also, you can't just be a billionaire and pay $500,000 to become a member here. You have to know someone personally on a personal level that's already a member there that has to refer you, 
and someone does have to leave as well. There's another one on this list that's just like that too, where they always have a certain amount of members there. I think it's about 800 or so at the LA Country Club, but that's crazy. You have to know a member personally that's there and that's gonna stay there, and you have to know someone that is potentially leaving, so that's what makes it such an exclusive club, but put that on your bucket list. Maybe one day you can network enough in LA, know some people that are members there, and then you yourself could become a member. But number three on this list is the Griffin Club. Now this one you might have not heard of, also has gone by the Beverly Hills Country Club. This one does not have golf. It is a smaller country club, well club, in the middle of the residential neighborhoods of Cheviot Hills. And the Griffin Club offers a variety of membership options, including social, fitness, and executive. The initial fee currently is just around $2,500, so, so it's going to be opened up to a much more wide variety of people. Monthly dues are also just under $300, but that does give you access to everything such as the pool, the gym. I mean, Equinox is more expensive than under $300 itself. You also get access to the private event space that you can use, maybe you want to invite some clients there. Maybe you just want to have some guests over at the restaurant. And it's really just known for having the luxury amenities that have been consistently remodeled and updated, the exclusive atmosphere, and the networking opportunities that come with everyone you might meet and know there. Number four is Soho House. Now you might have heard of Soho House if you're in your 20s or 30s and have just lived anywhere throughout LA because this is a popular nightlife spot that people will just go to on the weekends wanting to go and hang out at the Soho House. They have destinations around the world, not just in Los Angeles. There's a very popular one in New York as well. The one in LA is at a historical West Hollywood building and it offers members access to a rooftop pool, screening rooms, several dining options. And it's really known for its trendy atmosphere. It's much different than all the other clubs on this list. I would say it's a much younger crowd going to Soho House than going to these other clubs. And it's much easier to get into too. Although you have to know someone that's a member there to get invited for access and pay the 2,500 plus the monthly dues. There's still a lot of celebrities that are members there that will go there on a weekly basis. So that's why they have to make sure you're referred by someone that is a member there. But once you're the member there, it's pretty lenient on who you can bring as guests because I've known several dozens and dozens of people that go to Soho House on a consistent basis. Number five on this list is the Riviera Country Club. Now, very similar to the Los Angeles Country Club, but it's located on the west side in the Pacific Palisades, right between the Palisades and Brentwood, basically. It did just host one of the PGA's events, the Genesis Invitational, which they host every February. And it's open to the public, so anyone can go every year, check out Riviera Country Club, check out the $50 million homes that surround it that directly look into the country club, which are incredible. I've been to a few, and you just can't beat views of golf courses, of greenery in LA. Some of those homes also have views of the ocean from up there, which is very rare. It has all the same amenities that the LA Country Club has, such as the tennis courts, the pool, clubhouse, fine dining options, impeccable service, incredible facilities. But what they're mostly well known for is their golf. Even many PGA Pro golfers have said that the Riviera Country Club is their number one favorite golf course of any course that they play at. And they play at all the best country clubs in the entire world. So if you're a big golfer, then look into Riviera Country Club. But it's also not gonna be easy to become a member at the Riv because as LA Country Club, you have to know someone and know someone leaving. It's the same exact thing. You have to know a member that's currently there and gonna stay there. You have to know a member that is going to leave or passes away, unfortunately. And the dues are very similar. Although it's not public online, it will be in the six figures and then maybe a one to $2,000 a month monthly due as well, depending on your plan, depending on your situation. I just realized, I got a Los Angeles Country Club hat. Look at that. Boom. There it is. Well, that was everything, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Till the end of the video, I'm going to put this hat on. Maybe I can get a round over there sometime soon. But I will be there for the U.S. Open this year, so that's going to be exciting to look at the whole course, the Country Club. Haven't been to that one, but I do know people that work and that are members there. So maybe I'll be able to play the course one day. They're very strict on people that are able to play their course. But thank you so much for watching till the very end. Let me know if you learned anything at all about one of these exclusive clubs in Los Angeles or what else you want to know about LA in general, about the exclusivity of the clubs, about gated communities, 
communities, about different areas, about the west side, the valley. Again, my name is Darren Kriz. I'm a local realtor out here with a team in the greater Los Angeles area, helping people every day buy, sell, and invest in property. So if that's you, reach out down in the description, hit the like, subscribe for all things LA, and I will see you guys on the next video. Peace.